Ah, good morning everyone. Welcome to our new series on modded Minecraft. I'm Tigorso, here with Garen, and today we are starting off with the first episode. Oh, sleep me back. Yes. Um, so as you can tell, we've, uh, we've been playing for a, a little bit. Um, we started off originally uh, with just as we spawned into the world, and then we realized that, oh, this is not going to work out. We were dying of hunger. <laughs> we were running around not being able to find anything. It was pretty catastrophic. So, um, so we decided that, you know what? Instead of making everybody watch us suffer, we're just going to, um, you know, get our bearings first and then uh, start that way. Um, there you go, bearings. So we have, and we're here and ready to go. So, um, you know, in whenever you have, you know, any world, it's important to secure food first, which is something that we didn't do. Um, so there are some cows nearby. So my goal today is to bring those cows uh, to us. Um, but yeah, so Giren is actually uh, being a farmer right now. So actually, let's go ahead and show you. We set up a, uh, a small, tiny little farm uh, over here, and Giren's been using a watering can to um, get cotton and barley and some wheat so that we can make bread and things like that. Um, you can see I'm on my very, very last pork chop. There were a couple pigs nearby, and we had to kill them for uh, emergency sustenance. I wasn't planning on it, but I was like, okay, we, we kind of got to kill these, these pigs. Um, because yeah, it was, it was not going very well. Um, let's see. We didn't have any wood. We didn't have a whole lot of anything. So now we do. So I, I feel much better. Um, so the reason why we're playing, um, modded Minecraft is because we, tried it we tried out our hand um before it was always very intimidating like we didn't really yay now bear has sleeping bag um we didn't really know like anything about it it didn't really seem like something that we were very interested in um and then ethos started playing uh his little uh modded minecraft single pair lp um, and he takes things very slow and we were like, oh, okay. So, you know, that's, that's how that works. And, you know, we, we, we learned sort of along with him as he was doing it. And we tried out, um, a lot of different things and, uh, we sort of had our, our own little pack going on, uh, for a while there and uh it worked out yeah uh you know so we tried it out most of the modded series it's like oh okay you know oh we gotta make this super super complex thing oh we need need these five parts but first we have to make these 10 parts and then you know we have to make these these 20 parts to make those and it's like wait what you you, you have to do what <laughs> um so it, it's kind of like intimidating in a way. Um, so we didn't really feel that way uh, watching Etho. So it was, uh, it was a very nice experience. Um, go ahead and eat. All right, who wants to come? I need at least four and I got four, cool. All right, so that way we can have two sets of babies. There we go. And of course they can't get up. All right, I'll do multiple runs if I have to. Yeah, if you want to go ahead and make a pen. I was going to make one when I got up there. Um but yeah, so, you know, we tried out sort of like a stripped down version of his pack and it worked out well for a while. And then, you know, once we sort of got comfortable with it, we were like, oh, okay, you know, maybe we want to do a series on this. Maybe we want to have fun. 
uh, you know, and and do it with other people because I'm, I'm going to be honest, we still have absolutely no idea what we're doing. Um, we're still complete noobs at this. So, um, you know, we're going to make a lot of mistakes and we're not going to know things and that's okay. Um, so hopefully those of you who aren't familiar with it can sort of, you know, uh, enjoy it vicariously through us um, or uh, become confident enough like we did to uh, start playing on your own. Um, but we sort of realized that, you know, um, Minecraft was was, you know, getting to be like, well, we've done this, we've done that, you know, you, we've done basically everything. So we wanted a little bit more, uh, a little bit more from the game. So, but we didn't want like crazy, crazy much. Like some people like with like, you know, like cars and, you know, like machines and like everything's automated. No, we didn't want that. You know, we wanted something uh, a little more, a little fancier, but, but more basic, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Come on, guys. There we go. Let's see, what we got we got two in. All right, let's jump out here. Um, so you know that's like sort of what we felt, and doing it. Um, that one's just like late. Uh, doing it on our own, uh, sort of provided us like hints and help. Uh to sort of figure it out and it is you know it's it's actually kind of it's not the easiest thing in the world to set up so we actually switched to um the actual feed the beast launcher so that's what we're using now and uh get in there there we go and it works really well and obviously we're using the uh the etho pack that uh that's out for it so that's working out and you know we're having a good time so far guy get in there all right let's get let's get our breads on there we go two babies one baby and a two babies all righty you know what if you're gonna be around here sheep let me just go ahead and take your wool so that way we have a supply of some yep so that's basically what we're doing um, Girin is mostly interested in the, um, the Thalmcraft. He's the big level 10 wizard bear. Um, every single game that we play, he does, uh, he does sort of like the, whatchamacallit, the, the wizardy, magey type, uh, class, I guess you could say. So... That's definitely what he is the most interested in, and I'm not surprised, to be honest. Um, do you have the watering can? I'm going to get us some more, some more wood. So this watering can is actually a, uh, a pretty, cool, uh, pretty cool thing. So you fill it up with water, and then you just slowly water the area around and it advances the ticks on whatever's growing and uh, whoop, there it goes it grows up much faster um, which is nice because I don't have to sit around and wait for it to oh, did I lose my did I lose my axe oh there it is uh, we don't have to wait around for it to you know grow up all the way we can sort of advance it it's sort of like a, it's sort of like bone meal in a way so that's super fun um, and, um, you know, so we don't have to sit around and wait and stuff like that. So this is pretty cool. So we can, you know, get like wood and things like that that we need. So there's, there's a lot of cool little, little nifty things in here. Um, and then as far as like mods that I am interested in, I'm mostly interested in, uh, you know, sort of like the, the expansion of like the caving. Cause I like to go caving. Um, there's the glens gases or something like that where it like makes caves like like full of gas that can explode and like catch fire and like i'm like oh that's cool um and there's also like uh what is it the, the deadly caves where like there are like spawners <laughs> <laughs> watch caving episodes 
Um, you probably, it'll be exciting. I promise you'll see me blow up and explode and, and stuff like that. <laughs> ah! Oh, the vines saved me. <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean, it's going to be, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be fun. Um, it's going to be, you know, not like your normal sort of caving episodes and things like that. So, uh, I'm really looking forward to it and I hope that you guys are too. Um, trust me, it'll be, it'll be cool. Um, and then the other thing is the Archimedes ships. So if you guys have been with us for a while, um, you'll know that they're back on our first season of Kieger craft. Um, I built an airship and one of the things that I never did was finish it, but I loved it so much. You guys know if you watched that, that was like one of my favorite projects. Um, I really did love that ship. Even if I couldn't feel, even if I did feel like I couldn't do it justice, I still loved working on it and building it. Um, so I want to try, I don't know how to use the mod. I don't even know if it's possible, but I want to try and, oh, I can just like sleepy bag. Oh, cool. Um, I want to try and build the, the airship again. I want to build the airship again, and I want to see if I can make it fly. Um, that's my goal. So I don't think it's going to happen. I don't know. What about you, Bear? I guess we'll see. We'll just have to see. But that's that's what I'm the most interested in. So, um, yeah, totally. And uh, let's see. There is um, one mod that we disabled. Um, we disabled the Spice of Life because I, I didn't want to have to eat like a whole ton of different foods and stuff all the time. Um, if, you know, Etho or anybody else thinks that that's cool, you know, that's, that's fine. It's, it's their game, but that's not something that I thought sounded very fun or very interesting. So I was like, you know what? We're just going to disable that. We're just going to disable that mod. So we did. So it's been disabled. Um, we will not be, be doing Spice of Life. So we, we did lose, like, the lunchbox and, like, things like that. So, um, you know, we don't have any of those things because that's, that's all part of the mod. Um, but, yeah, that's gone. So I'm, I'm sort of happy about that, to be honest. Um, let's see. Why is this on the ground? Oh, it's so we can, so we can take it and put it here. Ah, he sees. Bears are smart. Um, so yeah, we have a little cave down there. Um, let's see. The we're in the highland biome, and I guess I moved maybe into another biome, or maybe it is this biome, but it's just like silverfish galore down there. I released so many silverfish; it was ridiculous, and we were just like basically. I, I got I got pwned. Not all the way, but I was pretty close to death. I had to run away, and it was scary. Um, but yeah, so we're just starting off here. Um, yeah, I I should probably mention that. Um, I saw this tree over here as we were running around up here, and I was like, what is that? That is a gigantic tree. Oh, we have the Biomes of Plenty uh, mod uh, going on, so... There's a gigantic tree over there, and I want to go see it. I, I really want to go investigate that tree and see what it's all about, but um, we don't have any armor. We're completely naked. Uh, we're going to have to leave that uh, for another day. Um, but I hope that I hope that this seems interesting to you guys, that you'll stick around with us for our modded episode, uh, or episodes, plural, more than one. I know there was a lot going on because this is a first episode. But I hope that you guys will will stick around so till we start doing like, you know, the cooler stuff when we start having like more ores and, you know, like bookcases and and stuff like that. I mean, look at this, look at this, it's so cool. You put books in a bookcase and then like, look, I, I want to read this. I'm like, oh, wait, oh, I think there's a way to like, oh, I guess I gotta like take it and I'm like, oh, look, it's a book. Wow. Put it back. Boom. Look at that. 
It's a different color. I thought it was red, but that's cool. <laughs> I think it looks pretty cool. So, you know, there's there's definitely some cool things that we can do with this. I mean, we're not going to be, like, probably not going to be getting, like, too into, like, the super modern stuff, like machines and things like that. But, you know, these sort of, like, little design elements will help us add more character and you know to our builds and in, in the ways that you know we've always wanted but we never had the ability to do so you know i hope that you guys will stick around with us for that um you want to go now oh okay all right i guess let's go let's go check it out oh wait we can't go i don't have any food i have no food none at all I almost left and died. Especially since right now since I'm like starving. Okay, I'll take 16 bread with me. Alright. There we go. I got spread. Alright, let's go. Wait, what? Oh. Take some more bread, I guess. Alright. So, we're going to travel over there and check out that tree. There's like fruits and stuff. What are these? Dragon fruit. Huh. How weird. All right. So here we go. So, um, one of the things that I've always, uh, I guess we're gonna have to make a jump for it. We, one of the things that I've always really, uh, found super interesting in Minecraft was the uh, the different biomes and things like that and the biomes of plenty just adds like so much cool stuff like crazy biomes that are like full of like weird animals and and things and that's let's see is there any bamboo shoots um you know, there's just so much new stuff. I mean, like, this this bamboo here is, like, new, and and it's really nice. It's it's nice to have, like, that sort of that same Minecraft feel, but have, like, new Minecrafty stuff, if that makes sense. I mean, like, it's not, like, super different to the point where, like, the game doesn't even look the same. It looks like an extended version of the game. I guess that was always, like, my problem with, with modded was that... It changed the game too much, um, but that was back before when it was like just like one thing, and like you had all these like two billion different mods. Oh my god, this tree is amazing! Oh, look at there's multiples. Let's go over to this one. This one seems more accessible. Wow, how amazing! I love the color. The color on this stuff is phenomenal wow and and that's and that's something i love i love the color i love the greens i don't love the sort of like the brownie areas oh look at this this thing is huge this tree is gigantic i wonder if we can live in this tree bear do you think we could live in this tree like i wonder okay Let's see here. All right, so that's the bottom. Let's see. Okay, it is got a three. I don't have my. I don't have an axe on me. Oh, I have wood. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and build that. All right. Swap that out. Okay. So bear is going to be needing trees. This is this is good. I have sticks. There we go have an axe cool let's dig up I mean I just love the the wood texture I think this just looks absolutely phenomenal all right so I think that I think that that's will be good and then we can just start digging up in the tree and then like make uh, let's see let's get some dirt here and then we can just make like um, oops <laughs> Lob dot here, the manly suffocated in a wall. <laughs> what? <laughs> I guess the wall was manlier than he was. Okay, <laughs> that's cool. Um, so yeah, so I'm just gonna dig up to the top here, 
and uh, see where we come out. I mean, this is, I'm just, I feel sort of giddy about this in the way that I did when I originally started playing Minecraft. Um, because it's like, oh, there's all this cool new stuff. What's this? What's that? You know, let's let's pull it apart. Let's find out what's going on. Let's do all this cool stuff, you know? Um, I mean, before we even started recording, it was just like, you know, uh, all exploration, trying to figure things out. Oh, yeah, grapes. We can make wine. Get hella wasted. Um... You know, so it was like, you know, we, we didn't really know what we were doing. We didn't know what we were doing at all. But we still had fun. We built our our gray cobble castle walls. We built, you know, our abomination of <laughs> of like industrial like like buildings and things like that. Because we were like, oh, you know, we're gonna get a smelty smelt tree and a factory and and all this stuff and oh my god, look at this. Yes, yes, I love this. This is amazing. So, I think that we definitely can live in this tree. Um, it'll probably be difficult. We'll have to be careful not to, uh, not to, like, break, uh, leaves, things that will make leaves fall off. But, you know, I think it's, I think it's totally possible. And we can have just, like, a thing that'll go right up to the top. Woo, I'm so excited. All right, so I think I'm gonna try and uh, build a little, a little house in uh, in this tree. And uh, oh, bear! It's becoming night. Let's see. Let me bust out my sleeping bag. Let's go! Woohoo! Oh man, this is this is so convenient. I love it that we can just sleep anywhere. There we go. Let's go find out what Bear is doing. Oh, there's like a purple tree over there, too. Oh, I'm starving to death. There we go. All better now. Yeah. All right. Do you want to go grab some wood from it now? I have an axe. Chop it down, chop it down. All right. We'll wait then. But, yeah. This is, ah, uh, all of this is just so awesome. I love the green. I love this little, this little pond here, this little lake, the little, little lily pads and stuff going on there. It's awesome, Bear. It's really great. All right, guys. So I think that's going to be it for today. We've done some, you know, first, you know, couple days stuff. We've got some cows now. Going to breed them up. We've got uh, our first potential house here in this tree. Totally looking forward to this. I'm so stoked right now. And I hope you guys are too. So, you know, definitely uh, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and uh, leave them down in the comments. Um, if you guys have any suggestions that you'd like to make um, or, you know, cool ideas, you know, go ahead and let us know about that too. Uh, and you know we'll definitely take an uh, <laughs> we'll definitely take it into consideration. And Garen might get dressed for next episode. Maybe we'll just have to see about that. And yeah, of course, obviously, let us know that you like this video by leaving us a like. And if you're not, go ahead and subscribe and continue watching for more cool stuff. And wait, where's Bear? There he is. Can't sign off without Bear. Bear. Alrighty guys, and we'll see you next time. Take care.